Hi, everybody. I'll just take two minutes. You know, if you've ever had the problem I've had of not being a quick thinker and yet knowing something important just happened, what are we supposed to do about that? Sometimes at a meeting, people will say something that other people are like, I'm not going to touch that. Uh, and they let it go. That sometimes leads to business problems, sometimes leads to ethical lapses, sometimes it leads to headlines that on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. But here's a couple of ideas that you can use if you're a slow thinker like I am. If somebody says something that's kind of strange, what if you said, yikes, everybody looks at you. <laughs> and they say, what? I said, I don't know. I just never heard anybody ever say that before at a meeting. I think we should talk about that. That's all I have to say. Or if somebody says something that's kind of snarky or something that's kind of a side comment, and and you're hurt. Uh, not a lot of people are going to say, excuse me, you just hurt my feelings. What you could say is, ouch. Well, what? Well, um, I don't know. That just hit me funny. Did you intend to kind of hurt me or pinch me in that, verbally pinch me in that way? Uh, that gives me a chance to, to say, I'm sorry. It gives me a chance to say, no, no, I'm just having a bad mood or any of that sort of stuff. Y yikes and ouch come in very, very handy for us slow thinkers. But what they do is they allow us to extend the conversation that perhaps is a critical part of the conversation uh, at meetings, at home, with our children. Instead of telling people what to do, like we would do maybe in the old days with our children, we can instead tell them how, how it is for us. And that helps them then figure out what they're gonna do about that. I'm Kevin O'Connor. See you next time.